how does ability come to law? First and foremost, it needs to be introduced. This can be done by one legislator, multiple legislators, or a whole committee. Afterwards, the bill is given a number, which we will use to reference it. If it comes from the Senate, it will start with SB1. But if it comes from the House of Representatives, it will start with HB2. Is that right? Is it HR? It is HB. After being introduced, the bill isn't voted on by the whole chamber. Instead, it's assigned a committee based on what the bill is about. Then the committee hears testimony, maybe makes changes, and then votes to see if it will go on to the next stage in the process. During testimony and committee, the public has the opportunity to make their voices heard using the ready to speak system. We'll go over that in another video. From there, the bills go to the rules committee just to make sure it's constitutional and properly formatted. Afterward, the bill goes to the committee of the whole. In Arizona, we commonly refer to this as the cow. This is where you'll see big crazy debates with Republican, usually legislators acting insane. This is also where other members outside of the bills committee can make proposals for amendments on the bill as well. After the cow comes the third read. This is where the members of the entire chamber can vote on the bill. If it passes, the bill gets sent to the opposite chamber to repeat the entire process. The bill can die at any stage during this process. If both chambers pass the bill, the bill then gets sent to the governor where they can decide whether or not they want to veto it or sign it into law. If you want to learn more about what bills are being heard at the Arizona State Legislature, make sure to follow us on our socials at Progress Arizona on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to make sure you never miss anything and find out what bills we need you to fight against. Check it out.